Hello and welcome to this latest Thinking Space Initiative workshop. Today it's the distressing subject of rough sleeping. It's sadly a sight all too familiar to anyone who lives or travels through the UK's major towns and cities. Estimates widely vary from 5 to 15,000 rough sleepers across the UK. In the context of the UK's population size, the problem is in fact very small. So why then, after 30 years of government interventions and huge expenditure, do we still find people sleeping rough on our streets? It might be a small problem in numbers, but its consequences are severe. Shockingly, the life expectancy for a man sleeping rough is 44. For a woman, it's even worse at 42. This is around half the normal UK average life expectancy and compares to pre-Victorian England. Rough sleeping is closely linked to mental illness, with half of all rough sleepers suffering from the disease. 40% are also addicted to drugs and 40% to alcohol. Most, three out of four rough sleepers, suffers from at least one of these problems, and many suffer from all three. The challenge rough sleeping poses to our society and our welfare state is seemingly unsolvable. So is there no way forward? Why can't a rich, modern, caring society like ours find a way to help those in need? So we've brought together four experts to have an informal but frank discussion to suggest a way forward. So thanks very much, all of you, for, for, for joining us on this Thinking Space Initiative um, workshop. 